Hello there YouTube, this is Bad Fat Panda here. I am going to be bringing you guys a free-for-all on Quarry this time. And this is an F2000 match. Uh, my class setup for this one is uh, the F2000 with the silencer, um, M93 Rafika, the uh, Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro are my perks. I am using Claymore Stun Grenades, and I believe that that is the extent of my loadout. Um, and you, you may notice that I have Urban on this F2000, and uh, I just recently prestiged, and I just recently came upon unlocking the F2000, and it was a... got a fair amount of requests to use it um, early on, so I decided to go ahead and, and have a go. And that, that have a go spirit got me uh, through so many matches of various game types, because this gun absolutely fucking blows. Um, it, it's just... I, it, it's definitely one of the the more uh, powerful guns in the game, uh, but the, the recoil on it is just astounding. Um, normally, what they do is they uh, go ahead and and the Infinity War developers say, "All right, we're going to make a gun have a moderate fire rate. We're going to give it high damage, and we're going to give it a lot of recoil." Or they say, "We're going to give this gun low damage and no recoil." So like the ACR or or like the SCAR is a uh, pretty noticeable recoil and, and so is the tar but then the f2000 it, it doesn't have the power of the scar or the tar and it doesn't have the uh limitless recoil of the uh acr it's just sort of stuck in the middle it's just sort of like a sad sad baby just looking there like who wants this child and uh i really can't give it a comparative uh title from like something a gun in cod 4 uh here i get shot in the back i'm really pissed about that and you're, you're maybe wondering why I'm setting off all these claymores near certain things that may seem out of the way. Uh, when you're playing free-for-all, uh, when you're playing any game type, pop a claymore near something that's going to explode. Um, I think I get a kill later on from me planting a claymore near that car right there, and I, I did earlier, and I also plant them near gas cans. Uh, that's just protecting my flank. Um, I, I don't want to engage people that already know where I am. Uh, there's no reason to. And you have to you have to play to the strengths of your gun. Uh, this gun has insane recoil, um, and and it's not predictable. That's the one thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before I started playing all of these matches, uh, I thought that it was uh, just straight up. Uh, it was the recoil on the F2000. I was wrong. Um, it goes up and right. It goes up and left. But it will go up. So it is a headshot machine. You notice I already have urban camo on this, and I've been playing for it with it for like I don't know maybe an hour or so. Uh, that so it's it's pretty. My I think my headshot to uh, actual kill count for this thing is like uh, almost 20%, which is pretty insane for an assault rifle. Um, and it's not because I'm accurate, because I sure am hell is not <laughs> sure it at fuck at this. All right, sure as hell am not. Um, but the 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 recoil on on this, if you're going to compensate for it, I would say. Uh, Nine times out of ten, try and shoot toward the left hip of the person you're aiming at, and it'll probably go up toward a headshot. Uh, as far as uh, the the range and and the reason I'm using these perks, uh, stopping power is needed on the on the F2000 for short range encounters. On free for all, there are a lot of short range encounters, so I decided that it was worth it rather than put something like cold blooded on, uh, which is probably the other perk that I use most often in free for all matches. Uh, my Kill streak setup for this is I believe Predator Missile, Harrier, and Pavlo. And I, I get a couple of Predator Missiles toward the beginning and then I just go on a rape kill streak and, and start to kill people. That guy is uh, unfortunately for me bad. Um, and that's just showing you the recoil in the F2000. That this this guy kills me twice, and I don't know, he just like walks around corners with danger close and semtex. I think that's the standard class that uh, with the L86, which I I don't think is a great weapon. Um, I'll get into that later though. They're gonna nice little double with a with a predator missile, which is just pretty hot. I don't see many doubles with uh, predator missiles in free for all. Um, here I'm actually you, you can see that that I'm I'm still playing to my normal tactics. I just like setting off time bombs here uh, because I do get occasional kills with them. I I ended up popping a uh, gas container on ooh, high rise the other day and got a triple kill like. A minute later, and I was I was pretty happy about that. Uh, but so yeah, just as long as you're not near the gas containers, feel free to shoot them. They may get you extra kills. It's like popping a claymore. You don't even have to remember or go back and monitor the situation. It's just you have a chance to get a free kill. So why not? <laughs> so there, there, my claymore actually does get a kill for me. And I'm going around the outside of the map. I'm not. Uh, 
altering my game type to fit this weapon, uh, which I, I don't think it's it's necessary. That guy, he camps in that corner. Uh, I killed him earlier with a Predator Missile. I killed him there again uh, in that same corner, and he just seems to like that corner a lot. And uh, I'm just running around to this side. I actually like these buildings over here to protect myself a bit uh, when I'm playing free-for-all. And make sure you watch these uh, square uh, blocks of stone because it's just, you find campers a lot in free-for-all, either under under those rails over there to the left of me, in that house, or positioned around these uh, these stones. I don't even know how to get to most of the places that I find people that kill me, but they, uh, they do somehow, so kudos to them. Um, here I'm just checking my corners, walking around, making sure that there's nobody here. I see that guy moving around there, I try and uh, figure out where he's going and finally uh, come upon him right here, get the kill. And so yes, uh, what, earlier I was saying stopping power is needed for close range. If you're going to be using the F2000 for long range, um, with a silencer you might want to consider your options. Uh, it's it's probably good for uh, close range encounters. It's it's great hip fire actually. I found that I found that pretty interesting uh, during like a couple drop shots and, and close shots that I was not necessarily uh, it, having the encounter uh, anywhere near <laughs> where I wanted to. See, it's it's a headshot machine. Look at that, another headshot. And I wasn't even trying. And uh, so if somebody comes upon you, you can just like spray and pray without steady aim, and you can almost always get the kill. Here I'm just checking my uh, score and checking my kill streak. I am going to let the Harriers do the work. Unfortunately, they take a bit long to uh, get started doing work, so I'm I'm set. <laughs> I have to sit in the corner here and, and figure out what to do, uh, where to go to get my next kills. I see a couple people in the UAV over to the left here. I know that they are far out of range, and I know that I don't want to um, try and engage them over there because the F2000 is horrible at long range. I actually, I might eventually upload a uh, clip of me rage quitting because of the F2000 recoil. It was the first kill of the map. I uh, died just because I emptied an entire clip in this guy, and the recoil just went like about a three, four feet above his head. And it, you definitely have to burst with this weapon. But even bursting because of the high fire rate is is sort of a challenge. Uh, there I get my Pavlo and it uh, it gets quite a few kills for me, and that's that's really what it should do. Because my Harriers is picking up the slack where the Harrier left off because the Harrier really didn't do much. And uh, here I'm just trying to run around and get a mm, couple quick kills to end the game, hopefully, because I, I am I am very excited here. It was uh, it was pretty early in the morning. I think it was like seven, um, and so I was I was pretty pumped for this. Because I was, I'd been doing it all last night trying to get the uh, the F2000 kills, and then finally got a good game. I decided that free for all would be my best bet because I'm pretty good at free for all. Like, if if I ever have weapon challenges and stuff like that, just stupid things to do, I can I can most likely go into free for all and uh, get a game recorded in in a couple minutes or a couple matches. Sorry about that. So here, it is coming to a close. I get a ghost kill, uh, transformer, I believe. But if you like this, uh, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe if you have not. Uh, also, post a note in the comment of, of any other guns you want me to use. I'm going to try and get all of them in, in at least one commentary uh, in the next couple weeks. So have fun and have a great day.